I think I've always been mesmerized by the cave environment. I had experiences dry caving before cave diving, and when I got underwater and got into a wet cave environment and realized that I could float three-dimensionally through space with the ease of flying, it was an unbelievable revelation to me. But it's also kind of a deep spiritual connection for me. Maybe it's one of these sort of back to the womb kind of experiences. Because I liken cave diving to swimming through the veins of Mother Earth. I'm swimming in the lifeblood of the planet. That water, that fresh water that nourishes agriculture and humanity and is really the essence of life. And as a person who swims through these veins, I get to see a little bit of what's coming down the pipe. I realize that everything we do on the surface of the land will eventually be delivered back to us to drink. And I think that all of the expeditions and explorations I've done around the world have given me a unique opportunity to use a voice, a voice from a place that few people will ever have an opportunity to visit. And I could tell them what it's like in these underground museums of natural history and teach lessons about geology and biology and our cultural history. So it's an opportunity to go where no one has been before. And maybe it satisfies that little girl in me that wanted to be an astronaut.